Okay, so weird things happened in the sound. Only the background sound was missing, and I don't know what was up with that, so hopefully it works. Let's see. Yep, okay, good. Yeah, so finished Chronicles. Gonna try and beat this. Uh, whip only. If I can't do it, it would only either be at Frankenstein or Death, which is hard enough to beat unless you use Holy Water. So. Okay, I need to just make sure I am in the mindset of don't use items. Because although you don't really use them in this one, except for at bosses, you might just accidentally click up and D because it's not its own button. actually paying attention at the very beginning I would have just avoided the knife in the first place so I couldn't accidentally use it. Let's see, can I do this? Can I pull this off? Oh, the bat would have to come in the first place. Oh, I was thinking of getting hit and jumping over it. But not good enough for that. One thing that uh, Mike, Matei of Sin Masker brought up that would be pretty cool to watch, I don't know if it's an official thing, but uh, a treasures percent, you know, where you get all of them, such as these. But not the standard ones like that money bags, but the ones where you actually have to kneel or something to get. It's less bothersome than in the Chronicle ones where it swoops directly over you. It's as if in this one it's programmed so that there is a bit of space to dodge. I guess in the other one they didn't worry about that because, yeah, you're supposed to kill the small bats that appear. small trick here uh, that anyone knows. I would hope it doesn't make it any less legit because, you know, it's just taking damage. Whoa, okay, that was pretty dangerous. But yeah. Just dealing with all those Medusa heads at the right is just Okay. 
Better safe than sorry. Oh yeah, I also noticed that in this one... Oh, actually, I'm not sure. I'm guessing, and I think I'm right. You can duck under the fireballs for that, but you can in, like, the fourth one or other ones. Almost there. Should not have done that. Although it should be fine. Oh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what would be the way to dodge this. I guess jumping up here, but... Ah, I guess. But how would you deal with it if you were on the left side? Is it programmed in such a way that... Ah, I guess, so that she'd go lower? That feels a bit too complex to see someone program in a nest game. But if true, pretty cool. <sighs> the mummy, I presume, is next? Yeah. I remember... Uh, nope. Yep. Oh, just as an aside, so... I'm not going to be talking much of this, especially if I get the boss at all. Hmm. Come on. There you go. Oh, one thing I noticed when I watched the footage for the Chronicles one. Turns out it's called that stage 25. So I don't know, is it actually a thing? Did something happen after? Okay, I should have just kept walking. Yeah. Because in this section you can just keep walking and you don't get hit. But um So yeah, does it just keep looping? Would I get 75 if I beat it again? The 75th stage? That's cool. I can then avoid getting an item at all. The stairs, the holes, the water. Worst things. I can kill you. Aw, oh, come on. I could swear you can go up that and uh, not get hit at all. Okay. That is one of, uh, you just gotta have the perfect rhythm. I don't plan to die until I reach the Frankenstein stage or the death stage, it's just not allowed. And when I say die, I mean game over, obviously, because I've already died, but... Um, yeah. yeah. Come on. No, not that. A longer whip. Yeesh. Oh, also in the first one, you can't just keep spamming whip and hit it. There's a delay such that you can't. You just can't spam and it would. There is a rhythm. And <laughs> it's not just happy. It is in the later ones, though, I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. <clears throat> Sorish throat. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, you could not duck under that. It hits right down the center line, and it would hit your head. Come on. Oh, great. Come on. Oh. There. Oh no. Of course, of course. Ah. Whatever. Okay. Let's do that. I was expecting the first one to do exactly what the second pro did, and that is a uh, fly away. If I had a longer whip, I could hit this guy. Okay, that blew my mind a bit. I thought he would walk into me and hit me off. See, if you have a longer whip, there's a perfect place to stand where- Okay, like that. And you would just keep hitting the Medusa as well. Do not want that. I do want this. Oh, come on. Gotta get out of the way. Thankfully, I think all of them head downwards first, so you don't really have to worry. The bandages, that is. Um, yeah, see, you can still whip after the orb, so in this one you can pull that off. Same in Rondo of Blood. Couple foolish deaths there, but eh. Here's where it gets really interesting though. because if that bat comes at the wrong time, you can't really do anything about it. Okay. If we're talking stage-wise, and I know I died in the previous one, but the only one I consider truly hard would be the stupid bridge you have to cross to get to Dracula's main part of the castle, and uh, obviously death stage. Which makes sense, last two stages. But also, notice in this one for these, you just keep walking, gotta just click at the right time. It's actually not bad. The second you stop though, you'll get screwed, because although even uh, with this present thing that I'm doing, just walking, there's a chance for them to come from behind you. If you just pause for only two seconds there and whip backwards, you won't have to worry about it being endless. Oh. If you do this right, you can keep... Oops. Keep dodging the fireball. Like that. Hmm. Tricky thing with Frankenstein is that even if you have full health... Ugh. Especially because of this part right here. Aw, oh, come on, I, I whipped you. Wouldn't that have hit the... Um... The fire mode. Okay. Okay. Doing this with skill is so tough because of that stupid hunchback. Damn you, Gork. See, he got it. Ah. Of course. Oh my god. Oh. I'm pretty sure they do two damage or three damage in 
this stage, so if that uh, fireball hit me, oof. But nice, first try kill. That amazed even me. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Now this one, if, well, I'll be realistic, I don't think I can do first try death with whip. Hell, I don't even know if I can do death with whip. It's a bit too... Uh, It's fine. Come on, don't be an asshole. Whatever. Everything does so much damage in this stage. Get out. I'm trying to remember if there's any uh, pork chop in this. He didn't jump over here this time, so I was able to avoid some damage. Come on. I don't know why, I don't think there is uh, any poor uh, trap here. No, no, get out of here. Also, this section is, well, obviously because the Redux one was inspired by this, but looks exactly like that section. Oh wait, chicken here, right? Yeah, here. But yeah, it was so cruel how in Chronicles for the first pork chop, they made it be a bunch of hunchbacks. That was, like, not nice. Yeah, see, you couldn't duck down for these axes either. Okay. Good. Uh, hardest thing. It's so... It's damn stairs, dude. I pressed down to duck and I went down the fucking stairs. Okay, no, you can duck the axes. Okay. Surprise me, unless that was invincibility frames, but... Mm, I'm on zero guys, so probably won't pull this off. And this one does not disappear. So just keep spinning. Hopefully it'll disappear. Or die. Rather. Come on, With only a couple more hits. I need the long whip. There's a, quite a few less of the red skeletons over here, which is nice. Cause in, yeah, in Chronicles you had 20 of them. I, it's just how do you get down the stairs without taking damage? Also, I did like the touch they had about having the Frankenstein here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this time, no messing around. So, okay, let's be real here. 16 minutes or so to get uh, here. <laughs> An hour or so to beat death. Oh god, okay, thank god it didn't hit anything. I was trying to go up the stairs, but I pressed P as well. Okay, now I'm freaking a bit out, because I'm I'm worried I'll hit both of those buttons again. One game that I'd want to play, um, that I play as a kid, would, would be, um, oops, come on, okay, The World Ends With You, pretty cool game, 
But the issue is it's a DS game, you know, and it really makes use of the stylus. And I'm just not fond of actually playing handhelds anymore. I'd rather just play them on the PC screen. That's why I was glad that when I played Donosaro, there was a patch you could do where we get rid of that stupid, uh... What are they? Ooh. Okay. Um... Seals, I guess they'd be? Magic seals? If anyone remembers, you'd have to do some stupid signias on the thing to kill the bosses. And if you failed, everything is undone. It's just so tiresome. And gimmicky. Like, I get it, but here's the thing. If you actually were fighting the thing, fine. But I'm playing a game, I don't wanna freaking have to do some stupid magic seal. It makes sense in the lore, but that's for the character to know, not for me. Okay, this is a bit amazing. I thought I'd die there, but not bad. Well, not die, but get hit. These axe guys are pretty something. I don't think I've gotten hit. Not bad. And of course, due to having holy water, if I wanted to, I could just curb stomp death by holy water. But I'll at least try to do this part with only. I don't know if I can. I'll try though. And even if I can't, um, I'll try and use Cross instead, because Cross is more skillful than uh, Holy Water. Because Holy Water is just, it, it sits there, it's dead, it's stunned. At least Holy Water you still have to actually deal with dodging the scythes and stuff. Okay. A bit too close. See, and I could go back and get that uh, pork chop, but these enemies respawn anyways, so... If I got hit one more time, I think I would've, but... Okay. Now let's see. I don't know if I can skill shot this. This is... Like, honestly... See, look at that. <laughs> Just jump up and hit the thing. Yeah. Oof. I'll try one continues worth of uh, skill shots. If I can't, then I will just use cross. Okay. It is pretty cool though to have this thing right here. This gauntlet. Okay, that's actually very useful. Okay, I am amazed that I jumped that. Okay, that is not bad. One hit. Okay, now this time I'm not jumping like an idiot. Still got hit though. God, I hate these sides. I'm trying to just imagine how you do this. Because it feels like the screen is very small, so wherever you jump, there'd be a scythe. In the Castlevania 4, it makes a bit more sense, because, uh, okay, they're coming. It's, it was right above me, you know, at the start. A diagonal whip, right? And it would be dead, gone. Then I wouldn't have to worry about it. But in this one, you can only move left to right. Uh, okay. Couple more tries. Then I'll use cross. Let's see if we get um, some good luck again. And, uh, okay, that was so cheap. Come on, I was pressing B. Okay, I think I know what happens. Oops. 
Yeah, whatever. I get stuck in the whipping animation. Oh god. I was gonna blow my nose, so... Come on. You get stuck in the whipping animation, so... You click B right afterwards and it just doesn't work. This would be the first game over. Damn. As someone once said, you're too busy dodging the Medusas to dodge the axes, and then you're too busy dodging the axes to whatever, dodge the others. Ah, oh, my life. Come on. Yeah, no. One hit death, I don't think I can pull this off. Yeah, C, shit. Just trying to think. Okay, I'll... Okay. Maybe I could walk... Um... Walk right and into the crevice, maybe then I could dodge it. Not bad. This would be the first game over, I'm pretty sure. And if I really want to, I could just do that here. Or, that is, use the cross here and win. Then, okay. Uh... Then... Okay, fuck. Then it would be a no game over run, but... I find more value in... Just making it... Trying to make it as much of a whip-only run. Although that might end either way. Okay, you suck. Couldn't the damn turkey be after this? Oh my god, okay, so they position themselves relative to where I... Ah, uh, where I appear. Even on the first one. Yeah, I'm just gonna use cross this time. You suck. <sighs> and then I'll use whip only on a... What's up with this? Usually they walk towards you and you can just kill them. But they're all running away from me. Come on. I don't even have the long whip yet. Come on. Just one hit would have ended that. But at least I made it to the door. Yeah, so 14 minutes or so on the stage and I didn't even win. Come on, get out. Actually, I guess I should have maybe used Axe. That's less uh, cheating than Cross, at least I think so. Like, if you're gonna do it cheap, might as well do it the least cheap way possible. Well, 
What's sad is that once, and I'm pretty sure it was just once, I, I didn't beat a whip only, but I at least got the stupid pattern down to deal with it. That is to say, um... I was dodging all the sides, I was knocking the ones that were coming out, or towards me out. Good, we at least made it to the door. Here's what I'll do. I will try until I'm on guy zero and then I'll use cross. Because I really do at least want to give it my best shot. Honestly, having been in Dracula first try with Whip was pretty, pretty, like, that. Fuck. Tried to duck and the damn guy. Oh, fuck. And then the Whip. You suck, you bastard. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I wonder, is there any way fucking stairs could be a different button than down? Okay, at least I got double whip here. <sighs> Do I even have- no, I don't have enough. I was hoping I have enough points to maybe try this one more time without, um, cross. Try to skill shot this part, and it's like, okay, you whip that, you whip this other thing. But in trying to do that, it takes more time, and the more time that passes, the more likely you are to get hit. So it's just like, shit, you want to just keep whipping, but that doesn't work all the time. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, fine, we're going cross. But I guarantee that'll be the only time. If I can ever beat death without, um, cross, I'll just upload that separately. It's pretty interesting how the cross does not, um, cross doesn't hit the lower axis, but my whip does. Okay, here we go. I'll be assistant. Okay, it's fine. Fuck. Oh, okay. Ah. Weesh. Doing bad. Death is seriously the only gatekeeper in this game. If truly worse comes to worst, I will use holy water. Because I don't want this to take too long.
God, I have such a desire to just use this holy water because it's so OP. invest in doing the cross. Best in a whip only run. Oh, God. Or rather, I won't be invested in a cross run. Tricky, and I don't think the watch even does anything. I'm just trying to think of where you could stand. Like, I feel I'll just, after this, watch some, someone be deaf with uh, whip only, because, uh, thanks. Twenty-four minutes just on deck. I'm pretty sure. Skill goes out the window once the Grim Reaper enters the picture. That is so, so worth it. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Shit. Oh, actually, whatever. People might complain, and I would have as well. I shouldn't have been using the cross on that, it was just for the boss. Okay. Not bad. Like, the usefulness of the cross is just that you can kill these damn sights. Like, 
like, honestly, that's the only thing I need them for. Oh, so close. Gotta have the timing right. The timing messes you up if you have the short warp person going with. Whatever, I'm gonna be cheap and use the cross for the hallway as well. Fuck. I almost got screwed there with that damn knife. Now I just lost a bunch of health. Why does everything do 4 damage? I get death with everything? Crazy. Ah, oh, thankfully everything after this is easier. I'm mainly hitting all of this just to get the double or triple shot. That's fine. I don't know what causes it, but if it goes through the guy, then you do a bunch of damage. I was jumping forward. Uh, shit, exactly. Let's see what happens. I'll probably die again. That was not bad. I'm really anti cutting stuff out because it's just a pain for me. And it just uh, ruins the point of just saying you beat it, the whole thing. You suck. I'll try one more life, and if that doesn't work still, I will use holy water just to get this over with. Now I'll try to see if I can ever just beat this guy with whip only. At least in our sorrow, you can just spam that there, claim Elias. You're done. And if you use a cast ring, just spam the red minotaurs thing. Aw, oh, he was still alive. Full HP on the Grim Reaper. Dracula is so much easier though, too. So, once you have the rhythm down, you just whip him, and his head comes flying off. You just keep jumping at the perfect time, and all that's fine. And for the second phase, it's just whip him in the head and just uh, jump under the guy when he jumps really high. Now, that part might be a bit tricky because. I'm not sure what causes him to jump high, but if you don't notice that and you don't do it, well, you're done. Good, we made it all the way over here. Um, even with pork from the pork chop, we'll only have three quarters of health, but maybe we can still make it. I still want to do cross, I don't want to do holy water until it's just impossible.
But if anything, this should prove how, um... The other one, that is to say... Chronicles, or the X68000 one is easier. This one, blow through everything um, in 16 minutes, reach uh, death, and then everything just collapses. What am I doing? I was trying to do a back jump. Good. No, but seriously, what triggers it to go... Behind him. Okay, that was a pretty good hallway, but uh, here's where it really comes down. Yeah, even when I try and do this at just the right time, it doesn't work out. Oh. Damn, so close. Okay, that made me feel like I can do this with Whip, so... Come on, give me a Morningstar thing. Nothing? Serious? Good. I got, I got a feeling. I feel as if I can, I can just get past the hallway, obviously. I can be death. Come on. Gotta do it right. What am I doing? Ah, oh, jumping the wrong way. Good. Perfect, actually. Okay, I was not paying attention. Yeah, shit. Ah. Oh. That was going so good, too. Like, I blanked. Okay, it seems like as long as you can get past the first one, you can live. Oh my god. Oh my god, so close. I even felt it. I knew it. I was so close. Oh, your heart just starts beating. You're like, almost there. This time for sure. Mess that up in the hallway too. Cause I had only one hit's worth of life. Imagine if I would have had all of them. That would have been it. If I went to blank. Okay, that was pretty legit. That jump right there. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't care. Okay, good. What the fuck? Okay, what were the odds of that? So I waited for the knife, the knife disappeared. I tried to get the triple. A fucking time stopper appeared. Are you serious? Yeah, this thing just went from possible to impossible.
Like, I don't know, is there a trick? You only leave one, one there and then, um, the rest won't spawn? It's bad enough to have to pay attention to all these fucking things, but then death's flying around. Yeah, so this time, can I not get screwed over with a shitty pop? Cause that was it. I had, uh, was it full HP or one hits only, but... Yeah, that had the cross, that was a good run. Uh. Thing to watch out for is when he throws it down. Good. Okay, perfect actually. Double shot. That's good too. This does not have to be freaking worrying about this getting a shit item. That's fine. Okay, that's good. What's here? Oh. I don't know if some specific ones have items or not. I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Okay, okay fine, whatever. Oh, geez. Yes! Fuck off! Okay, yes. And Seth was gonna chase me to my death. Okay, this is the only other hard, semi-hard part, but... It's actually harder in this one than in Chronicles. Uh, because the, the thing just swoops so quick. Okay, he's off screen though, so we're good. Oh shit, actually. I'm trying to think. As if I'm not gonna use items right here, so the obviously standard approach is to. Um. Well, not use this axe, you don't have to use that, but you would use a time stopper, like you dodge, or you lure this one away, that's fine, you lure that one away, and after that you would uh, go to the middle part and use the time stopper, that's fine, actually just running is best here, here's where you use the time stop. Okay. I thought he'd chase me. He didn't though. Are we are we good? It's fine. So death is not allowed here, because this will be so much of a pain. Because that was pretty amazing. Usually at least the ones when you reach the clock start swooping at you. There's a uh, pork shop here. Okay, fine. Oh, great. Good. That was, that's fine. God. I don't know if I can pull this off. Okay. Barely. Okay, good. We made it. We're done. I don't think I can pull this off with no HP like I am right now, but... Let's do it. 
I also have not played this in a while, so I don't know if I got the rhythm down, you know. Hmm, yeah. Tad closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh. That was just me messing up right there. Oh, his head disappears first. Okay. Finding the rhythm. You can only jump after he opens up his cloak if you don't want the fireballs to go where you don't want them to. Calm is honestly the only way to deal with this. Because you can't rush it. You just gotta do it. Okay, I, I was pressing forward, but I guess I didn't jump forward. Oh well, one hit's not too bad. Okay, what am I doing? I, I kept jumping just up. Shit. All that work down the drain. Fucking serious. I jumped too early. But not bad. That's what you gotta do. And not mess it up at the end. Okay, let's do it. Too close. I do hate that he spawns on top of you sometimes. Yeah, like that. Ooh, fuck. You are given enough time to move out of the way, but it is tiresome nonetheless. Jump too soon? So how long will this take? I guess 30 minutes at max, I hope. Cause it's like, you can beat the first one easily, but you can't mess up your rhythm. Second form is just somehow figuring out when to go under him.
Oh. That surprised me. I thought he'd hit the tail of my foot. His head just keeps disappearing too quick. Okay. Oh. My hand. Okay, I, I was just blanking because I'm like so close. That's the thing. You can, you can, at the end is when you can't lose focus. Like that, whatever. Just avoid getting hit one more time. Okay. What's up? There you go. Okay, I have a bit too little HP, but it might be possible. Just to let you know, I once played this <laughs> stage too much, and oof, that music, they think it's irritating after a while. Why would the, or the coffin have a cross on it? Like, I get it. Why people have crosses on their coffins? Why does Dracula have a cross on his coffin? Okay, that, that amazed me. I thought I'd get hit by it because I didn't jump in a, di in a direction. So, tips on how to do this. Basically, wait till the man opens up his cloak so that his attack is already defined to be a sideways one and not an up one. And then jump and whip. That's really all it is. Okay, and then hope you don't run into the man. Like that. So stupid. And cheap. In my eyes, that's cheap. It does give you enough time, I know, but it's still... Ugh. Cause you, you can't just watch for him, you gotta watch for red blinking shit right on top of you. that. I'm trying to think. When do you know that he jumps up real high? If I honestly can't do it as... No, no, I can't. Gotta beat a whip only. Come on, this is Dracula. I can do the first phase with only obviously it's the second phase now. is the best form to just stay still, I guess? Then you just don't have to worry about running into it? Maybe. I 
fuck you, dude. Appear anywhere but not on top of me. Yeah, whatever. I expect. And there's no extra stuff down there. Not that I could use it anyways. But yeah, this music really does get annoying after. Oh, is it? I think first time I beat this, the whole game took four hours. And that was with using cross and stuff. Before I run out of space, that would piss me off. Especially considering most of the time was just dealing with death. Like, this could have been 30 minutes shorter, or 40 minutes shorter. Of me. <laughs> Trying to mess me up. So close. Three more. That's not reaching. Two more. Oh. That's tricky. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to dodge him? Yeah, like... That, that. How do you know that he does that? Bring him down to half health. Half health. Um. Yeah, this video will probably take an hour thirty. Assuming I can actually beat it. Anyways, on just the waste time, I guess as I just do this, re this repetitive nonsense. Um, yeah, so, against the gods. Will he use darkness for found energy? Technically, why isn't it being used or sensed, considering he destroyed his profound veins? What's up? Anyways, my guess is, okay, so, using the mirror would undo all this shit, so I don't think he'll use that. Because he also wouldn't meet, um... Is it Shenzi? Yeah. So... You can't do that. Um... I wonder if he will, like, lose all his friends or whatever, and then... Okay, let's assume Ling Ji or whatever has the uh, inheritance of Li So. Probably not, probably Ancestral God, but whatever. Use that to, um, uh, to recover his profound veins. Also, maybe only once his profound veins are destroyed can he, um, cultivate the world-defined scripture that Lingji, uh, has in her memory. Okay, fuck. From the Black Stone, rather.
Also, is there any reason he is not using the, um... Fusion of Fire and Ice? Like, dude, use that, you one-shot kill. He's already basically killing everyone, but I'd hope that what happens is that... Okay, he does that. He kills absolutely fucking everyone outside of the barrier. And then, um... He kills the Star God Emperor, Origin God Tumi, and all the rest by just doing one giant fucking explosion of uh, fusing Fire and Ice. Uh, Fire and Ice Lotus. Because that would kill everyone, there's no doubt. The fact that when he was not even on the Divine Way, he could destroy that ship where the where Hanger was. <sighs> yeah, no. Absolute barrier? No, that, that shit's just dying to that. And Divine Masters, too. Because he presently has the strength of a Divine Master, if not more. Yeah, this is going somewhat poorly. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I was not thinking. If anything, you shouldn't run away. Running away is worse because it covers a greater field area. You should always walk towards the guy. One hit is not too bad. The whole thing is you just gotta um, whip the... Okay, I'm talking second form, but in a second form you have to whip him to death and just survive going under him once, I think. With no damage, that is. Then you have a chance to beat him. But finding that timing is just... I don't know. I can't tell when he's going to uh, do a high jump versus a low jump, etc, etc. And by the time it's happening, it's just... don't know what to do. Or rather, I've committed to... Fuck you. Um... Am I to walk in under him or not? Two hits has been much. I'd have to get lucky twice going under him to win. Not bad. Okay, it's good that he's dead over here because it gives me much more room to just wail on him. Okay, maybe you raise his head up and down. Nope, that's not it. Fuck, I should have gone near so that my invincibility, ugh, invincibility frames would have been enough. Let's see, so 40 minutes on death and uh, what would be 30 minutes on direct. The rest of the game just being easy. Uh, last two bosses. But at least I can beat first form pretty easily. Just when he cheap shots me, that's a pain. Okay, I jumped way too early then. That was me. Of course. You walk into the fucker. Screw it. My approach will be just standing still. No, that doesn't do it, because you aren't moving, so he'll... Damn. Just trying to think, how can you dodge him? How can you dodge the cheap shots?
fuck. I should have just kept going right. Maybe I would have escaped. How does architecture like this even stand? Is it even viable? Because I don't see any support really under it. It just extends out. It's cool looking. I hate, hate that so much. Cheap again. If we pass the 30 minute mark just to avoid space issues, I will just use cross. Maybe. I'm not sure. I could just stop and play, but that's the thing, it'll be editing and I'm not. Although I did edit the first one, I guess, so. Eh, whatever. How about this? I'll edit to attach, but never edit to edit out. Yeah, that works. Being cheap, that's great. If you use cross, you can hit him twice, I think. Okay, that was cheap. Fuck, that was cheap again. Fuck you, dude. I knew you! Fucking god damn it. Dude, infinite hatred. That is too fucking cheap. Why don't they have something where it's, uh, here's a sprite, here's your sprite, uh, if fucking distance is zero, whatever, don't fucking appear there. Appear anywhere else. Sure, you can also deal with it when it goes upwards, but it's a bit trickier, I think. No, no joke. What's the alg for where he, where he appears? Because. Always painful. Like, I don't mind much of this fight except for when he appears on top of me. The other things, okay, my fault, fine. But that is just too irritating. Oh, you almost got one last hit in. Okay, he does some weird thing with his eyes many times, and that's how you know he's gonna do it. Okay, I'm surprised I dodged that.
I'll quickly check my space after this try. Luckily, the resolution is small, so it shouldn't take too much of a footprint, but... Or make too much of a footprint, but... You never know. One thing ABG Gun said that's pretty legit is if you take one hit against this guy, your chances, at least if you do whip only, are gone. If you use a cross, though, you can really kill the guy second form quick. That should have hit. Okay, cheap. I don't know. I don't know if it's better to just stand still or to keep moving. I think keep moving, because even if you run into him, there's a 50% chance it's, he's in front of you as opposed to... Um, as opposed to behind you, so you can turn back quick enough. And of course, that percent's made up, but I you'd guess equidistant. Yeah, what? Can you not do two hits? Okay, that was cheap completely. Yeah, that's what this section is just gonna be me saying cheap, fuck, etc. Uh, don't like how the count just appears on top of me. And does unwarranted damage. Actually, I guess the second phase is actually less cheap, because uh, as long as you can figure out when he's going to do his double jump, which I think is when he does like three different animations, then that one is easier. That was so... Okay, come on. Good. And he's in the corner. That was so irritating. Ah. For the fireballs, you gotta hit it just the right time so that all fear just exits in his mouth. I mean, it's so tricky. Ah, <sighs> come on, I already cheated with death. I'm not doing that here. Oh. He got me when I was jumping. Or rather, he did the cloak thing while I was jumping, so they went at the bad angle. How many pegs does he have? 16? Dude, if you hit someone in the head with a morning glory or whatever this is... Um, morning star rather, sorry. Morning glory, I think. Oh, plant. Um, yeah. Pretty sure the skull would be caved in. Like, it should only take one hit of these to get drag on the ground, and then you just shove a stake in the man's heart. Close. I knew it. Last cheap shot in.
That's cheap, how am I supposed to dodge that? Great. Fuck. Second phase is tricky. I'll try a couple more times. If I have to, I will just do cross and then I'll try and make a video where it's uh, death with whip and then a uh, final guy, uh, drag version, er, drag form 2 with whip. get a hit, might as well get in a hit on him. have to jump to hit him. Oh, I, I could have dodged that. Okay, shit. I thought that was a... Uh, well, that was a high jump. Well, this fight's gonna take longer than I expected. Hopefully it doesn't take four hours. I want to eat, uh, lunch. Well, let's see, if this was skilled, uh... This would have taken what? Death would have happened on first try, 21 minutes or something like that. Total. Okay, that was cheap. Too close to the wall. Um. Then this would have taken eh, seven, nine, thirty-five minutes, I guess, or something. If I was actually good at the hard bosses. That sucks. So cheap. Whatever. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I could even deal with the second form. I guess maybe I'll play and I'll not care about living and dying and just try and focus on its animations. See if I can figure out what caused the high jump. Or what triggers it, because... Okay, that's how you dodge it when he shoots up into the sky. You just have to be close enough. Okay, I'm just not paying attention. Whatever. This time for sure. Oh, for sure I'll beat the first guy. Thank you. 
That was my mess. Wow, I'm surprised that hit. Thought he would have faded away. Hmm, not a good place, but... Like, you can't dodge that, and I think that's what irritates me. Yeah, it's a low jump, fine. There should be a way to deal with that. Is there? Can you, as long as you walk at the perfect moment, can you go under a low jump? Because otherwise, it's just how. Again, I guess I'll watch after this, though. Legit, uh, whip only run or something. See if I can figure anything out. Fine, two hits is worth it. Actually, not really, because this isn't even the hard part. But... I could have hit that. Where's the 20 HP? That is cheap. I know you do it. Yeah, I can't pull it off. Like I can get him halfway down. Okay, two hits. That's actually surprising. I don't think you can do that on any of the other hits, because there's no delay. Oh, I should jump jumped early. Okay, that one should have hit. Come on. Okay, that one I'm a bit surprised. I thought I'd jump early enough. Wait, it takes multiple vampire killer hits? Are you serious? For one peg of life? Whoa, okay. That is a bit surprising. So it takes like 30 some hits.
Okay, that amazed me. I thought I wouldn't be able to dodge that. if I would have been able to beat this uh, quicker than the other one, because I said the other one was easier. Uh, but oh well. Okay, perfect. Not fuck this up. Aw, oh, my whip almost did it. See, I actually did whip on this one because I knew there was even a possibility, but for death, I don't know. I really don't know. I remember I once saw someone do it with leather whip only, and no deaths. That was pretty legit. But okay, after this will be Simon's Quest. Which actually isn't that bad. Like, the tricky thing is once you die, things get all messed up. But if you don't die at all, then it's so easy. Because then you can just speed run to get the... Is it the Morning Star? And then, uh... It'll trounce everything and then get the Flame Whip. I think if you die even once, it's hard to get the good ending. Is this how I think? Yeah, so it's the same as in the Chronicles one, which this is based off of. Chronicles is based off of this. But let's check. How much damage do these things do? Okay, and this one also loops and says Sage 19. So maybe that's just a looping thing. Yeah, see here they do 4 damage. So, I don't know what's up. It's still easy mode in the X. Uh, 68,001, but anyways, that's all. Next will be Simon's Quest, which I can beat. Um, Dracula's Curse is tricky. I've not beat that one yet, so I can't say whether or not I can even beat it. I can make it near the end and somewhere in the castle, but then it gets a bit too tough. But that's all.